Hey, I'm Ricey, and today, Star Citizen video, we're going to be talking about the Cinch versus the Appraid module on the Vulture. All right, so on my last salvaging video that we did a couple weeks ago, I talked about what was the best ship to actually go through and salvage to not, you know, just cargo hop basically actually scrap the ship take guns whatever get the kind of money you can get off of it and i had a comment about hey you should be using the cinch module you're gonna be making more money and then i've also seen videos of saying don't use the cinch module because it's not worth it so i decided i'm gonna put it to the test so I took three different variants of ships, the 5,000, the 10, or 20,000, and the 50,000. I picked random ships. I didn't do anything crazy, but I picked the same. So in the 5,000 block, we had the Eclipse. In the 20,000 block, we did the Drake Cutlass. And in the 50,000 block, we did the Miss Starfarer. All right, so let's start with the Eclipse, the $5,000 ship. Now I'm going to be showing these up together at the same time and on the left side of the screen we'll do the cinch, on the right side of the screen we'll do the abrade. And going through this, we had some really bad servers. This took me all week to do up until literally the night before I'm posting this because the servers were just not working so I had to make sure that I was getting good stuff scrap times and everything like that to make sure this was even so as we're seeing here as the cinch goes along it takes quite it's quite a bit smaller than the abraid and going through this already on the eclipse here's my numbers we're doing the whole ship on the eclipse it took me 13 minutes on the cinch and i got 3.8 boxes so not even a total four close but not four boxes on the abrade, it took me five minutes and 45 seconds. So less than half the time. And I got 3.2 boxes. So I literally got three boxes off of each, one and half the time. So already on the cheapest ship, do not use the cinch. You're gonna waste your time. It's just, it's not worth it. You can get the same out. Uh, you can go do two of those in the same amount of time of you could do one with the cinch and get double the amount so stick with the abrade let's move to the cutlass which is the twenty thousand dollar ship and i was trying to get a valkyrie on this just because the valkyrie is a big wide open easy easy way to scrap the cutlass has some weird spots i avoided the freelancer because the freelancer never pays me well i always feel like i lose money on the freelancers and i don't know why Anyways, beside that point, let's talk about the Cutlass. Once again, we got the Cinch on the left, and we got the Abrade on the right. Now, in the Cinch, it took me 28 minutes to get 5.3 boxes. And this is like 0.3, that's what I had left when I did it, when I'm saying that. So 28 minutes to get 5 boxes. The Abrade got me 5.2 boxes so barely a difference there in 11 minutes once again this is almost like a third of the time at this point cinch is not doing well it's not looking good at all it's not worth the time so as we move on to the fifty thousand dollar starfare i got to thinking this is gonna take me way too long this is gonna take me like two hours or more to cinch a whole Starfarer. Possibly even though it's it's not worth the time. So I came across something and heard you could put the trawler module on the Vulture. There are several different locations. All right, so you can get them for 1,650 AUE seeders. So super cheap, you'll need two of them, one for each. So it doesn't really cost anything to do this. You can get them at Area 18 Dumpers Depot, Bangini Point Platinum Bay, 
Everest Harbor, Platinum Bay, New Bab New Babbage Omega Pro, Orison Cousins Crew Customs Craft, Cousins Crow, is it Crew? Cousins Crows, and in Port Tressler, Platinum Bay. So you can get it pretty much anywhere around one of the main cities. So Area 18, New Babbage, and Orison all have it. Port Tressler has it. Everest Harbor, there's your um, there's your one for Lorville if you're in the Lorville area. And then Vangini Point, which is above Area 18, and Port Tressler is above Microtech, New Babbage. Anyway, so you can get those anywhere. So I equipped those, and I was like, okay, so let's check out the the difference between these. So this time on the left, I'm gonna be putting the trawler while on the right, I'll keep the abrade. So the abrade's gonna be on the right this whole time. Now, this is where it gets interesting. I thought, surely, the trawler's just gonna wipe the floor with this thing. And it did, it did a really good job. It is a bigger circle, as you can see. And it took me 55 minutes to do the whole thing. I did not count travel time because I had to go dump halfway through and come back and because I mean I'm in the vulture I don't have that much storage space so it took me 55 minutes and I got 40 boxes that's awesome that's a lot but at the same time an hour and 10 minutes once again taking out travel time I did 49 boxes with the upgrade so for an extra 15 minutes I got an extra nine boxes now there's a slight problem with this. It's really easy to fit 23 boxes on the Vulture. 24, it's a little harder. It's doable, but it is a little harder. 26 is possible if you get out, walk around, and push everything in from the back. But once again, a little ridiculous. With 49, that is actually one over an eat, like the full amount. So that would technically take you three trips, but you could easily not, you could easily just leave that alone, take the 48 and be done. So honestly, when you get to the big ships, it's kind of up to you, a braid or trawler. I would take the cinch completely off your ship, replace it with the trawler. That way you have a choice between those two uh, modules. They're both better modules for what you're doing. The efficiencies that you lose on it are not going to be worth the time from the cinch. The cinch you may, maybe we could have got up in the 50s of the cinch, but that's a big maybe. All right, so as you can see, there's not really a point to using the cinch module in this game. As of 3.19.1, this might change in later updates, but this is as of right now. So go swap out your cinch for your trawlers. That way you can use a trawler with maybe a friend, having a friend unload in the back while you're sitting there going, and you'll be done in no time, especially being loaded onto a whole nother ship. It'll be great. Um, if you don't have that, stick with the Abraid. The Abraid is going to be your best bet across every ship to make the most money the most efficiently in time. With that, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If so, make sure you put a big old thumbs up on it. Make sure you su subscribe if you haven't. And go check out my Twitch. Every Friday night, I stream Star Citizen from 7 to 10 p.m. Central Standard Time, and I'd love to see you there. I will see y'all next Friday. Goodbye.